Well, we specialize in uh, Dutch and Flemish, mostly Dutch and Flemish 17th century paintings, but also um, paintings from all over continental Europe and the world. Mr. Vals has, has had the gallery for 35 years, maybe nearly 40 years now, and um, he's been in the old master world for a very long time. So um, he has a very broad knowledge of, um, of all kinds of old master paintings. Um, so it makes life very interesting to work here uh, and to be able to enjoy old master paintings in general. I personally um, uh, enjoy the sort of uh, the skill of these artists and the amount of work that's gone into these sort of pictures. Um, one only needs to look at any old master paintings to know that um, the amount of time and uh, dedication to painting these pictures um, and skill as well, enormous amount of skill, uh, and you really appreciate just how skillful these people were. And also the age of these things as well, it's just how wonderful it is to see things that are over 400 years old and how well they've, um, how well they've survived over that time. I would say, uh, obviously our clients come from all over the world, um, and I would say that individuals from each country tend to buy pictures that were, are from their country. Um, so a Spaniard will buy a Spanish picture, um, a Dutchman will buy a Dutch picture. And of course, um, American clients will buy anything that interests them. And there are some great collectors of very fine Dutch paintings, Spanish paintings, Latin American paintings. Um, so I would say that the American pa um, collectors have a broader collecting base and a broader area. Um, but I, the European collectors, I think, do tend to stick to their um, native painting. Japanese clients, I say we would have a few more Japanese clients who are interested in old master paintings, but very, very few Chinese clients indeed. I, I just don't think they understand old master paintings as it were. I think they're beginning to, to look into them. They must be, I'm sure. Um, but at the time, for the moment, I think they are much focusing on their own native uh, art. The contemporary market, one was seeing um, paintings selling for, say, a million pounds and uh, a year later selling for two million pounds. Um, obviously, that's an incredible return, and I think that was part and parcel of the sort of um, spectre of contemporary paintings, the fashion of them, uh, a lot of very new money and collecting tastes, and people wanting these sort of things as fashion items. Uh, and as such, everything went mad really on the pricing um, and obviously now we've seen a massive drop off in contemporary prices but I think Old Masters has enjoyed a, a, a more steady pricing market because the, the collectors of Old Master paintings tend to be a steadier group of collectors I think. No, there, there doesn't seem to be a, a, a fashion um, in, within Old Masters at all. It, it, it's, it's very much uh, perhaps the occasional artist might come into fashion and drop out of fashion, but old master paintings generally, I think, tends to remain a very much a sort of um, interest in, uh, interesting uh, base for connoisseurs and, and um, collectors. Um, I believe in the current market, um, we have seen, even despite all the um, crashes and everything in the stock market and general uh, economies, we still have seen a fairly strong market in old master paintings and I believe when people see old masters as a more solid collecting area, um, the prices tend to rise slowly over time, There's, they're not part of that sort of speculative market that's very much part of the contemporary market and I believe old master collectors um, are, are more um, steady buyers as well. So I think in the next two years, three years, uh, one will see a, a steady market, by no means a very strong market, but a steady market for old master paintings.